dear. How are you? What are you thankful for today? I hope you are doing well during this time and your day is beautiful all night. Today I'm thankful for what am I thankful for today? I have a lot of things to thankful for. First off, I'm thankful for being able to cook and uh, sell my food. I I just have a customer who order food for me next week and uh, my daughter she she asked her friends to support me. So a few customer for next week. I'm very happy and excited. Although it's very hard work, I spent five, six hours yesterday making egg rolls. It was a success, but my hand was tired. Thanks to Kitchen A, it helps me a lot from chopping the onions and spring onions and all that. But um, that that's very helpful. But the, the rolling, I rolled 100 egg rolls. It was hard work. Surprisingly, my baby Jaden, he likes my egg rolls. I was so happy when he ate it. I think he ate, he had two yesterday. And this morning I fry more egg rolls for him, for him to eat and to bring to his babysitter and his friends. So my joy, when it comes to cooking, my joy is seeing my loved ones, my friend, family, my friends enjoy the food that I cook because I cook with my heart. I put a lot of thought into it. I, I do the best ingredient that I can find. No shortcut. So that's what I love about cooking, sharing my uh, labor of love. I'll put a link to my, um, did I, yeah, I did I make a cooking video for, no, I did not make a cooking video for egg rolls, but in the future I will. It was just, I had a lot of work and I have no time to make a video. It's hard when you do it yourself. So future I will share the ingredients. But for now, I make an egg roll, 100 egg rolls. Now we down to like 40 or 50. And next week I plan to make 200 egg rolls. Oh my God. 200 egg rolls with shrimp. I sell 50 cents per egg roll. The work that I put in is more than what I make, but it's still okay. It's still okay. I'm still happy. And um, who knows? I might be having my own food truck or, or, or business in food. Who knows in the future? But the only thing I see is I don't stay, I won't, I don't plan to stay here all the time. I plan to travel around the world. So that's the whole problem of, of cooking and, and um, selling food. So I don't see that's doable. But for now, for the next five, seven months, I'll be cooking and sharing a little bit of uh, what I do. Not so much of selling, but sharing mostly. <laughs> so that's one thing that I'm thankful for. Second is um, I just recorded a... Uh, a story I read online is a uh, is from my Vietnamese writer friend. I spend not so much time, only less than thirty five minutes to record it and post it. No editing whatsoever. One thing I love about reading Vietnamese stories is uh, it touched my heart, the language, the culture, the the background because I come from there. And uh, we all have similar, a lot of similarities of our difficulty of adapting to the new culture. Um, there's so much that when I read that story or when I read my story, I always cry and um, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that, um, that I was born and raised in Vietnam and still give the culture, the um, the language, uh, the traditional, 
and I understand very well in the the language speak right and and speak right listen to. I do that a lot. I think that's one of the reasons my pronunciation in Viet in English is not fluent because I'm so hooked into my language. Um, there's days that I listen to Vietnamese songs, Vietnamese stories, read story. Um, I do that a lot too. So I think that's the reason I'm having a hard time with English pronunciation because I do both. Or maybe because I came here at 15, 16, so it's harder to do. But I'm still thankful that I'm still able to communicate in both languages. And um, yes, I love I love my country. I love my culture a lot, and um, I do know that next year, starting next year, when I'm back, I will be visiting orphanage. I will be helping out my countrymen to the ability that I can, and that's my hope and dreams. I always have this dream forever that um, one day I will give back to my country as well as to America because America has adopted me and has helped me during difficult times so it's just about it's just right to give back right that's what you do and number three what I'm thankful for today is um, I'm thankful for our marriage I'm thankful for marriage to Dennis A. Perez today is our third year anniversary if you're watching, my love, happy anniversary. I love you. And um, I'm very thankful for you. Three years being married is not a long time. We still uh, learn from each other. We still uh, learn to uh, adapt to our differences. Uh, there's jokes that he tell me I totally didn't get it. The words that I talked to tell him, he totally didn't understand me. So we're still having uh, learning from each other, accepting who we are, and, um, and looking forward for a, a future in front of us. Just the two of us travel the world, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Philippines, Australia, Europe, anywhere that you can name of that and of course around United States that is what I'm looking forward to to spend the rest of my life with my love I'm very happy for for you my love Dennis I'm happy that um, that you have a strong belief in marriage that marriage should not be uh, that marriage is a, a sacred thing uh, and you don't take it lightly um, there's a lot when it after you get married and living together is it's very hard because we are come from different backgrounds and, and getting together it's even harder when you live with adult children my adult children so it's very hard um, but so far we make that we um, accept our challenges and uh, work forward, work and look forward for better days. I'm really happy, thankful, and um, I'm really thankful that um, we have God in our life. That whatever we do, we think that God does not like divorces. Um, once you marry, you marry for life. You marry for richer or poor for a, a good time and bad time. So for that, whenever we struggle, um, that Dennis reminded me that um, don't take it lightly and and um, no divorce in marriage. We just work it out and I work it out. I'm learning to become a better wife, a good mom, a better friend and uh, I'm happy that uh, we make it three years three years anniversary so um, yes I think that's all I have for today I'm very happy I'll be making special dinner for my love um, all right so that's that's what I have today um, what about you are you happy in life are you um, I hope you are I hope whatever you're doing just remember 
whenever you stress out, maybe writing down would help you, which it has helped me um, take a walk in the park, which I love to do as often as I could. Um, all right, so that's all I have for today. Take care, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.